Hey guys, Vozok here, and today we have a very different sort of video. So, I'm going to be showing you basic animation. Now, all I know is very basic animation, so this kind of series of tutorials is going to be like me learning and showing you guys what I've learned as I learn it. So, I do know a little bit uh, about the program Blender, and there's a link to download in the description, it's completely free and I know to import your Minecraft worlds into it, I know to make very simple animations with characters and stuff like that, but I can't make, you know, the likes of Captain Sparkles, uh, song parody animations, anything like that. But what we're going to be doing is fairly basic, so we won't really need and um, be that good. So I'm making a new Minecraft world, I'm going to make it on the super flat world, and the world's called Animations. And what we're going to be doing here is making our sets. So you basically will going to be able to import the world into the animation program and we'll be able to select a certain boundary in here so say we um, we go over here and we make a little little kind of set that looks slightly like a cave um, and then we'll be able to import this into the animation program afterwards uh, if all goes well so let's let's do this and you can also Start making your own set, uh, pause the video if you want, and uh, start working on yours. Um, and it can be anything. Try to make it sort of small for your first animation, because the program, everything kind of pivots around one center point, and if you've got a really big set, um, unlike you may have heard of Maya, um, it's a better animation program, but it costs, it can cost up to 5,000 euro, I think it is. Um, so obviously we're not going to be using that one. <laughs> um, but in Maya you can go free roam around the place um, when you're animating but in Blender you have to kind of pivot around a center point so try to make it animation small or it'll be very very difficult to do it um, we don't really need a roof on this so I'm gonna get rid of a bit of that now and um, we just need it to look like there's a roof so our camera angle will kind of be here and then I'll just finish this off and I'll be back Okay guys, so I finished the set, it's pretty basic, it's not that big, um, I just want it so that we can, can like, make sure if you want to have the camera, say, like, I want to have this guy who's going to be mining gold, and then we're going to have some kind of fight with a zombie or a skeleton or something, and then, I don't know, maybe he'll jump over in this gap and pull the skeleton down this ladder or something like that, I'm um, still not sure yet, but um, that's what I want to do. And the torch, we might take that out later. The program that we're going to import with, it'll be able to identify the stone block, and if this is a different type of block, lava is different, and torch. So if we want to take out the torch afterwards, it mightn't import properly. The program is a little bit old, um, but it is the, the only one that actually works. So um, this might just turn into a yellow block in the program. Um, so if that happens, we can just delete the torch. Um, but these all should work and I'm also going to show you afterwards if you want you can make your like I could have made this whole thing like this I could have done uh, it out of brick and then because brick has half slabs and the stone doesn't and uh, I could have made this look like stone by changing the texture of the like texture pack um, and sh like in Photoshop or uh, paint plus plus or whatever you could um you can make the brick look like stone and then you'd have stone half slabs if you wanted them but um i'm not going to be doing that for this one but you can if you want and i will show you how when we're there but um yeah so i think this is our set done so now we're gonna exit this and exit that and we're gonna go into a program called mineways and um, i'll put a link in the description where you can download it and we'll open this up and this is what you get then you can open your world um, I'm going to choose animations and then we get this this is our world if we zoom in here's our piece of rock so um, in the front of it's there and that's the whole back so let's go to we change the max height until we want it as small as possible so we cannot see it see it okay there we can see it we only need it to go 12 high because a super flat world it's only like four blocks underground and then for now we'll leave the lower depth, but once we go to, um, we also want to select the terrain, 
so you go to just show you that again go to select terrain png because i got this wrong a few times at first select terrain and then you go you get to choose one of the texture packs that comes with mine ways so there's a few different um texture packs but a lot of them if you're using water it'll say patch noob or must update and all that because you need a uh, mc patcher and stuff so you just go to terrain.png it's the regular one but i'm actually going to go terrain 2 because I've, I've edited terrain.png but you go to that um if we go to view extra large you can see there are all the textures uh, in minecraft okay so we've selected it and now we want to go to export for rendering um oh yeah right <laughs> oops you got to um first just select the kind of part you want so we're gonna choose just here and there okay so that's where that's the bit that's going to export now now you can see it's pink and it shows three so you want to make sure your whole thing is pink so if we go there it's not going to get any but we want to go to three and that's got our whole thing and then export for rendering and um, because we're using blender uh, I think obj is the one you want because um, blender can open that file and I'm going to save it as cave.obj and, so, and I'm going to save it to a new folder here uh, I'm going to call it uh, tutorial okay and we go in so there we go and you can this is pretty much default my one and yours should be too but if you are having problems later just pause the video here and check that all the settings here were the same as mine and there we go and don't worry if you do um if like you kind of something's wrong with yours and for some reason the tutorial doesn't work for you when you if like i've followed i've tried to follow anyway like i don't know loads and loads of animation tutorials and that always happens and um, there's just so many little things that can go wrong and it gets pretty annoying but um don't worry uh, you don't even have to try it again just quit it's all good <laughs> so um we open oh wait we can't open that let's go to okay we go to blender now and once we're in blender you'll get this okay um and you have a cube just to press delete and go to okay you can delete this light that's a that's a, like a light that gives a place and this is a camera and you may as well delete that so you've deleted everything then you can go to file um import and wavefront obj and then we find the one that we saved on a tutorial cave.obj and there we go now it should be pretty small so just press s and then you can make it bigger we're gonna make it about that big and go over to the front of it and there you can see the torch did not import correctly so we'll just uh, right click on that and press delete so no torch the gold I'm not too sure if it imported correctly yep there we go actually now let's go control z not the torch still isn't okay so there you can see you got the gold the lava and all and don't worry it looks all fuzzy but once you've finished it shouldn't uh, look fuzzy anymore so you can see what if I select stuff I can select just the grass I can select just the the stone and you can select just the gold um, in two different sections and just the lava so it's pretty cool um, so let's go back oh yeah what I did to see it there is I went down here to the beside object mode and it was on solid and changed it to texture okay so I'm gonna go back to solid because it's easier to work with um, and now you want to um, get some people in so I'm going to minimize that and go on to block some people now I've been using the program for a while I'm still very bad at it, it takes a long time to learn but I do have some people kind of installed and you can install them too but um, what we're going to do is I'm trying to decide which people I want so like I've downloaded a few of these before and like there's iron golems and stuff like that let's um see that one has like all the mobs including the ender dragon this is armor and stuff like that and um, i haven't even used that one yet so like i am just pretty much as big a noob as you <laughs> um, once once i finish this tutorial you guys will know as much as me um but let's say let's choose vozak blend um i was having some trouble with this one before but yeah we'll go to file append 
animations where I have this stuff blocks and people. Okay, and then we're gonna choose Vulgar.land. And you go into object, okay? And highlight all of the stuff in there and go up to here, link append from library. I had so much trouble with that at first. But um it's it's cool to be able to teach the stuff that I had trouble with. Because I kinda since I'm a noob too, I kinda know what stuff to tell you. <laughs> um, okay, so he looks like he's about the right size in there. And we can go up above him and press OR and then rotate him around. Now, yeah, there's always going to be some like trouble like this, and you gotta fix up the scale of him, make it look like he's. There we go. That's looking a little bit more. And uh, we can pull him down a little onto the ground. Okay. Okay. So let's let's move him over to the back of the cave where we want him because he's going to have to be getting some gold and we can rotate him again. This is the thing about a roof, you know, it's harder to work with because you can't see anything but um, there, we've almost got him now. Now let's move him over a little. Okay, that looks about right. Okay, so now if we go file, or sorry, um, add and a camera, this will add a camera. Now, move it over, you can press S and scale it up a little bit, make it easier to use. And up again, up again, and let's just bring it over to the front of the cave where we can, it can see the guy. Now, if you look at the camera, there is like this triangle thing in the front, and that's the direction it's pointing. So, we have to use OR again to rotate, and we make it look so it's on the right level. This kind of square here at the front is where it looks out of. And then if we go above it, we can rotate it around a little. And then we just got to get the level it's kind of looking at right, or the direction. Just turn it around and make it look even, otherwise it'll be at a big tilt. Okay, that looks about right. Now there are, I think there are lights there. Oh yeah, they came in with uh, my Vuzok character. They were already with him. Actually, there's another camera there we have to delete. Uh, sorry about that, and I will put links to where you can get rigs and all. Um, there are so many Minecraft rigs for Blender, so like if you're looking for like say a uh, bow and arrow, I found one you could download, and there's there's all that. Just look up um, Blender Minecraft bow and arrow or something, and it should work. Okay, so it looks like this should uh, render. So if we get a render image, once you have your thing kind of set up, um. You have to have a light and you have to have a camera, and sometimes the lights mightn't be in the right places, so it might look weird. But we'll see what we get first. And this is what we get: he has no Minecraft skin on him, um, and the light's not really right there. So now we have to go around and we have to correct that. So to get back, go to 3D view down here in the bottom left, and if we click on our character, let's just get him there. Okay and texture new so the texture is up here and we get a new change this to image or movie and open now i have my textures in pictures youtube t and my texture is Vulzak improved but unfortunately he doesn't have a face so we're gonna go to one which is a chicken and i think that worked so let's um let's turn him around a little just to make sure it has a i don't know why my texture doesn't have a face the guy who makes my skin, really good, but uh, you forgot to put a face on, <laughs> on it. Okay, so there, and let's just add another light, because that one, let's delete these lights, they didn't really, I don't like them. Okay, and add, oh yeah, to add light, it should have showed you anyway, lamp, you go down a lamp, and you can go spot, um, which I think is best for this kind of cave. Move it over, and... Yeah, again, I'm sorry if there's easier ways to do these, and any of you, like, pro animators uh, could be watching and be like, what's he doing? But uh, I don't know that much. I'm just I'm just trying to show what I do know. Okay, so that light, you can see the line coming directly out from it. Looks like it's going pretty close to our guy. So now if we go render image, he still has no skin. And the light isn't much better. <laughs> um, okay, so where did we apply the skin to? So as you can see, when we click on them, different bits light up, and that part has the skin, and that's not where we want the skin. 
Um, we're gonna have to delete this guy, unfortunately. Um, oh, that could take a while. Okay, I'll be back in a second. Okay, guys. So I deleted the guy mainly. There's a few limbs left and stuff, but they're not in the scene, so it should be okay. Now, I know these ones work, so we're gonna import these first. And um, what these are is say, let's say villager. And uh, we have to import the villager and his bones. So I'll put a download to all of these, so you can have creepers, you can have all these. Actually, you know what? I kind of like the idea of doing a zombie. So we might, we might. We're gonna have to import both of these though. Damn, okay, let's, alright, let's not do zombie, let's do, you know, a chicken, a chicken might be nice, and uh, link a pen, let's scale it up a little, scale, 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 and, uh, oh, too big, okay, here we go, oh, that's a nice idea for an animation, a chicken that keeps getting bigger and bigger, <laughs> I like it, I like it, okay, so hopefully this guy has a texture on him, um, let's just delete that, okay. So, if we move him over here, let's just check what he looks like. Yeah, he's got a texture, okay. That's nicer, that's nicer. Okay, and we can rotate him. There we go. Let's get him onto the ground. Alright, now. I'm going to show you how to move the guy, so it might be easier to see him in texture, there we go, okay, um, so first let's just make sure he's on the very ground, okay, so see this guy here, this chicken, he's got these little things inside him, and they're his bones, now if we go in a pose mode, so object mode, go in a pose mode, we can move those, so if we go here, we're on his neck bone, and if we press or, you can move his head, like that, now if we go to his body, you can move his entire body, or you can move just one leg, and stuff like that. And this is where it gets cool. So, we're going to go over here into animation. And now we're in the animation engine of Blender. And first thing you want to do, left click on anywhere, just say the cave, make sure it has this orange line, and then press A twice. And everything goes like that. And you want to go I location, I rotation. So press I, click on location, and press I, and click on rotation. And then, when you go down here, you'll have this yellow bar on zero, and this means you've got your first kind of frame. Then, I'd say you should skip up, let's say, 10. Um, you know, actually, first what I'm going to do for my animation is I'm going to skip up to 80. And I'm going to move the camera forward, all the way nearer to him. Up here, you can see your wireframe view. I have no idea how to use that whatsoever, so um, sorry, but I, I kind of know what it does, but it's you only really need it if you are very advanced, I, I think, anyway. So yeah, I'm going to move my camera up to here, and then I'm going to do the same again, I'm going to go to, well, just on my camera though, I'm going to go I, location, rotation. So this means, if we play our animation back, uh, from the start, our camera is going to be going closer and closer to the chicken throughout the animation. Now, I'm going to go to 20 now, and we're going to just be moving the chicken. So, on 20, we want our chicken to turn his entire body. So, let's go, uh, let's change this back to object mode, because we want it to turn his whole body. Um, although, we would like his legs to kind of move as well. So, this might get complicated. Okay. So let's go to pose mode, and I think we can just move one leg, we want to move it up though, okay, and then we can move his head around a little, we can and you can move his wings and everything I think, yep, there we go, bok 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 bok, look at this guy, so cute. There we go, okay, I'm liking that, I'm liking that, and I want to move his entire body around, okay, and then what we want to do is go uh, double click A once you've clicked on one of his bones inside, so you're in pose mode, you've clicked on one of the blue bones, and then you double click A, which is just highlighting where he is, 
and you're on 20 so you have to make sure you're up a few frames this is 20 frames and then we're going to go to eye location rotation so now we can oh crap i didn't do it to the first time damn it okay so now i gotta go back unfortunately and put him back into his original spot um well i don't have to but i, I want it for my animation i want him to start off where he was um and here we go, let's, I think that's pretty close to, let's see if we can go into textured mode, where is it, there we go, texture mode, and we'll have them like this, it just looks more, okay, and let's go to double click A, I, location, rotation, and now, he will go like this, you can see him move there, and that's what's going to happen, and the camera is also going to get closer as he goes, so now let's move up to 40, and we can again move him so let's change this all the way around towards the lava uh, which he is most definitely going to jump inside of and we can change this leg so it's back and change his other leg so it goes forward we can move one wing down and we can move his other wing up or down <laughs> whichever and then his head can look at the camera. I want it to look at the camera. So we go above and we turn it over and now it's pretty much looking at the camera. And then again we press I uh, oh wait no we go uh, we're on one of the bones double click A and I location rotation and now we watch the chicken and he moves all the way over. Okay so now I'm at 60 so it's gonna be an entire of 80 frames I think or well actually I might go up to 100 but um pretty much you just keep moving your person until you're happy and you keep going up the frames, going I location, rotation, making sure everything is going the way you want it to. Um, you know, there is one thing that I would have. I'm gonna. Oh, that that's. I like the light there, but there is one thing I want, and that's to add a lamp inside the lava. So we can't do this in the animation program. We're gonna have to go back to default now. Hopefully, it doesn't remove. No, it didn't remove our animation. Okay. Um, why isn't it letting it? Oh, because we clicked on him. Sorry about that. Uh, lamp. Uh, okay, and we're going to go to area, I think is the one for this. There we go. Look at that. It gives off this kind of nice light coming from the lava. And I like that a lot. So, we're going to go to back here to the first frame. And we're going to make sure everything is there. I think everything should still, yeah, everything's still working. We got the light though now. Um, I don't know why it's at 80 up there. Oh yeah, that's where the camera stops moving. Okay, so that's okay though. Then we can have the camera go sideways if you want it. So I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. Let's go back to the animation side. Um, and now the light does look good. And if we render an image, just to see what it looks like. I don't like that. <laughs> I do not like that. Okay, we got to we gotta change that 3D view. Let's move this light. Let's go back to frame one where the light was. And we gotta move this down. So it's just giving out a little bit of light. We also want to move this big light so that it's not giving direct light. It's kinda like that. Um, and let's see what it. Oh, wait, let's just save everything. Location, rotation, okay, and let's see what happens now. Render image. It's slightly better, it's still looking pretty bad. I think we're gonna have to. See, it looks very good. Like this. Well. Hmm, and that's the wireframe, by the way, you can see it all there. And the box. No idea what that is. Okay, so let's let's move our light again. There, yeah, and you can move the whole stone if you want and all that. But um, there's our light, so let's move it down into the lava. And then we can move this. I think we'll move it over here. And we'll rotate it around a little bit. We don't want it to be directly on the chicken. I think that's our problem. Let's just move it over here. And, oh, oh crap. Did I just do what I think I did? Please don't tell me I did it. Alright, we'll have to see. I think I might have done... Oh, no, there we go. 
I thought I just deleted the whole animation. Okay, render image. It's not a... I don't think it's changing. Okay, well let's just finish the animation first. So, let's go up to 60. And we're going to be changing this chicken again. So his other leg's going to go down. This leg's going to go up. Wing's going to go up. Other wing is gonna go up. Oh, don't want it. Yeah, if you if you move the things around the other way, then in the animation you'll get this sudden like 360 wing movement that you do not want. So you have to be careful of that. He's gonna look towards the lava. Let's make him look a little bit more. Um, and again, this is a problem with having a roof. Okay, there he's looking towards the lava. And then we want to move him as a whole just let's save this first and then we want to go to object mode and we're going to move the whole of him now another thing about moving people if you click on their skin and not the bones you'll you'll mess it up <laughs> uh, like that so here we go you want to click on the bones of the guy yeah that's what will happen okay so you want to click on the bones of the guy so if we go to this and we're on the bones and then you move the whole thing like that okay there we go okay so I location rotation now the problem is I just saved everything so now the lights kind of stuck where it is but we can always we can still move it it's just that I'm not too sure where we want to move it to because it's messing up everything this light like it looks cool but hmm Okay guys, I think we got this sorted now. The light, I just had to have it right on the lava, on the very top of it. Now we're going to go to I, location, rotation, um, again for this, and we're going to go to object mode. We're going to move the chicken forward one more bit towards the lava, so it's right on the edge. The camera is also going to move here now. Um, so let's move that. Uh, we want to be very careful about how we move it because it's very easy to mess up oh yeah there we go we messed up so <laughs> it's it's hard to get this but there we go I just killed I just messed the chicken back up to where it used to be so the chicken's back on the edge let's just move the camera on movement there we go and um, we can change the view up here to um, you can change it to everything you can change all the views basically but um there's a way to go to the view of the camera but again I am a noob so I have no idea um, I think it's, it's one of these things somewhere around here but um, you know let's just make sure you save your thing as well Okay guys, so now let's just play through the whole animation. You see the chicken moving, the camera goes up, and then it ends there. And if we render the image, you can see that's not good. <laughs> um, you can't see the chicken's head. So there's just so much of this like tweaking, um, and it goes on for a long time. But at the end, once you have your final result, it is always worth it. Um, we can actually move the camera there. We gotta go back to where it the frame was and I uh, location rotation but now if we go back to here the camera is also probably too low so let's move it up a little and I uh, location rotation uh, all the way and as you can see back here the light is uh, if you watch the lava the light gets lower because it used to be too high so we're gonna have to move the light when it was back there down just to the lava surface where it is later and again I location rotation and I think that's this is where this is where the lights are the highest so move that down again and I location I rotation okay so let's just watch this the light comes up a little that's okay okay that's looking good and then what I want at the very end here is the chicken just stays there for a second and then just falls face first into the lava 
and then hopefully I'll pause the video, learn a little thing about um, I don't know, maybe Sony Vegas or Out of After Effects, and then I'll try. Although you do need to like get those programs, and that's probably too much work. I'll, somehow I'll try learn how to do some kind of flame effect on the chicken um, once it's in the lava, or we could just forget about that and put in a noise. Um, but anyway, this is this is this. So let's let's go up here. We want at a hundred. The chicken is going to straighten. And actually, I think I have a problem with my program. It only goes to two hundred and fifty frames, and then it never works. But I don't know. I don't know if everybody has that or what. But anyway. Okay, so um, we're not going to need more frames for this, so it's the grand. I can still show you. I'll probably just uninstall it afterwards and reinstall it, and it might work fine then. So the chicken puts one leg here. This leg goes back here. It's going to stay looking at the camera. I'm hoping that I can turn its body. Okay, never mind. Let's go right above it. Just so that the body's facing right into the lava. Um, but we don't want the feet facing too much in. I don't want to give away what's going to happen, you know? <laughs> um, Alright, so the chicken is still looking at the camera. We can make its wings go up. And its other wing go up. Okay. Okay. And I also want to let you guys know that there's probably about five ten minutes went into this tutorial that I edited the day so don't worry if you're just taking forever um, and or if it looks awful like mine is obviously so bad compared to the animations you see on YouTube and it's great to watch them and enjoy them but don't expect yours to be like that straight away y like your first one could even be better than mine I am very very bad but um don't expect it to be amazing because it is difficult and it takes a lot of time um, and if you ever say someone to tell someone that you're interested in animation they will always ask if you're very patient because animators spend hours and hours and hours just getting each each movement right so um, yeah that's all I have to say <laughs> um, that's eye location rotation and there he is standing there and we're going to do the same again I location rotation up here and then I'm just going to render that image just check that all is good yeah that I like that now that looks good and the focus is on this and not on the gold although I think like I didn't intend that but it is good I like it so um, we got lucky that way okay we're almost at the end so don't mess it up now let's go file and save this and now here is the main part so we're gonna just have at 140 he is just gonna fall face first in so if we move him over and also downwards and in Now, this you know this could end up looking weird, you see. So we have to we gotta make sure. Let's just I location rotation. Let's see what it looks like. Now I'd like it to be a little bit more a little bit more face first in instead of just falling through. So we're gonna we're gonna move him up. And we're going to rotate it more. So we're going to press 4. And we're going to rotate it more like that. And we're going to bring him further out. And now we're going to do location rotation again. And hopefully this time it will be more... No, it's kind of afterwards. So we're going to have to put one scene in between. And it's going to show him a lot more like that. I location, rotation. Okay, and now if we play it. That is better, but let's just do it one more time. We're gonna 
going to get it here. I'm going to go like that and move it out a little. Location, rotation. Um, okay, that's good. So let's play through the whole animation and you gotta imagine you're at the camera's perspective which will be completely different. At least the see, see watch the lava, the light kind of moves, making it look more realistic. So that's good. And uh, one more Minecraft realistic and um, chicken walks over, stares at the camera and plump. Face first in. Okay, and that's 140 frames long. Now, that's my animation done. You might be done yours, you probably aren't, but pause the video, finish it. Um, when you're done press play okay so hopefully you're done <laughs> so now there's if you have open if you didn't do yours in a cave and you can see stuff like you have a bit of grass and then you can see blank behind it you might want to go into a uh, world and you can uh, you can like put in a sky and all that um, and then say you put a blend sky and you can change the color of the sky by clicking on these but I won't be doing that because mine is not in the sky or whatever so you also might have a problem with textures and you can look up texturing tutorials but it's most likely a problem well it shouldn't be a problem with the ones I gave you because they come ready textured but um, if you got something from somewhere else that might happen okay so now you want to go down to your animation settings so you go to this camera and it's called render go down the bottom and change PNG to AVI RAW if you're using Windows and I don't know what you do if you're using Mac I'm very sorry and now go to this should say TMP and that's fine I'll show you where the folder is now and then go up to render animation and uh, let me just put this up to the start just in case it messes up because of that and render animation and then it'll start rendering this start of my animation what it looks like and this is the fourth frame it's on the fifth frame sixth frame and you can see it's slowly getting closer and slowly changing and it's got to go across this whole timeline and once it reaches 140 it'll probably keep going till it reaches 250 and um, because I didn't set an end unfortunately but it doesn't it does take a good while <laughs> actually so you know I'm gonna cancel that and I'm gonna go back to 3d view I'll just change a few things in here because uh, some of the things aren't what I want there's frame rate um, there is there are like um, graphic settings so mine was on the worst I'm gonna be putting mine up to 720p so it might take a while also you can set the end see it's a 250 I'm gonna set mine to 150 just because I want you know I'm gonna set it to 180 because I want a little bit of time afterwards to mess with the lava um, and there we go. I would also like maybe afterwards just to change the light again above where the lava is so that you get a kind of real effect from it. So here's our light. Um, let me edit this. There we go. Okay, and the light is right here. And we're going to just move this down a little bit. I location, rotation. And then we're gonna go up to the last bit here. I'm gonna move it back up a little bit. And we're gonna oh there we go. I location rotation. You know, let's change that and just move it down. Get a bigger change between them. Okay, that's good. And now that our whole animation's done, I wanna change everything. There we go, we got all our all our stops and the whole animation it looks good. Okay, uh, we got our render settings. You can this is the smallest, it'll be the fastest. If you're just doing practice one you don't want to keep it afterwards, that'll render fastest. So we go to render animation and I'll be back to you guys once my one's done and I'll show you the end result. Now if you can zoom out the whole way to get the right or you can go all the way in. So yeah. I'll be back in a, in a what probably an hour or two and don't worry if you have a slow computer like my laptop the first one I rendered the 20th century fox intro that said Buzzock instead now I didn't make it but um, it took two days to render on this bad laptop so don't worry about how long it takes it will finish eventually guys 
it is finished. Um, so hopefully you'll see it now. Um, one mistake I made, which is pretty unfortunate, is you can still see the chicken's wing at the very end, just to the lava, but it doesn't really matter that much. Um, now this, um, I better show you actually. Um, so you go on a computer just to find where you it was saved to, unless you made a custom saving spot. But you go into my computer, system C, um, and then TMP. I don't know about Mac, but anyway, this is uh, an animation still I made for my anonymous' message to Notch video. Unfortunately, he has the eyes up here and then the eyes. It was originally supposed to be a mask, but people thought that he had two eyes, <laughs> and I got a lot of slack for it or whatever. Anyway, here's our animation. Hopefully it looks nice. Um, probably won't, so don't expect much. Um, it was pretty fast as well. We did it in like less than 40 minutes. So here we go. Oh god. <laughs> come on. Come on. Alright, it's fairly bad. The light thing at the end, I didn't really... I wanted it to work a little bit better than that. If we would just watch that again. Okay, let's... Come on. Okay, so... I, I wanted the lava to keep... The light to keep changing, making it look as if it was kind of moving and stuff like that. But in the end, I don't think the light changing thing that I tried to work. But anyway, I'm gonna bring this animation into Camtasia Studio and I might also here we go again. Light you see it go down a bit but it doesn't really work. It does kinda give an effect that he's going downwards though, which is alright. But anyway I'm gonna bring the animation into uh, well I'll probably try it in Vegas as well. And I'll give it kind of some color effect, make it more like a cave. And then I'll probably bring it into Camtasia and do the sound effect. And I still could have After Effects, so I only really got it because I kind of had the option to get it for free, so I went for it. Uh, I haven't really used it. I'll try to learn that soon though, because a lot of animators use it. But yeah, first we'll use Sunny Vegas. And I'll do something pretty simple with that. And then I'll pause the video, gather some sound effects, and then put the minis in Camtasia Studio. Now, if you don't have Sony Vegas, you won't be able to do this, but there are ways to get it. If you Google Sony Vegas free download, um, because obviously you're not going to spend 1,000 some, something euro to follow this tutorial. Um, or you might be happy with your animation without any changes. Um, so we're just going to mess around with effect an effect in Sony Vegas that I sort of like. So, there's our animation, not looking great. Uh, if we go to... Here we go. And uh, we go to color. And... Yeah, so hopefully some someone someone following this has Sony Vegas. If you don't, it's alright. I'm just going to do this real fast. We're going to go to color balance. And we're going to add that. And then you can change the amount of balance that are in each color. And it's easy to make it look your animation look very different using it. Um, now if we just change this to best and or sorry best full so that we can see it properly uh, so you can see you can change this like that now we just wanna we don't wanna change it that too much let's see green that's not really helping too much blue this one hopefully will help uh, I don't know I think I kinda like that maybe a little bit more red that's going the wrong way. A little bit more red, I think. And let's see if we, what happens when we mess with the green going this way. Okay. So let's let's play that. Okay. I think I prefer that. We can also watch the original video. Go into my computer, and we can see. We can pause it at the start. And see the difference. My computer TMP. Let's pause that. At the start here. Bring it down here. Okay, so that's the difference. There's kind of like a color difference. And I think this one definitely looks better. Uh, if we play. And if we play. Yeah, 
Okay, so I like that one more. Now we gotta have some sound effects. Um, I'm gonna have a quick look through here to see if there's anything else that might make it look a bit better. I think actually there's one that might make this look a, a lot better. If we just add this glow. Come on, please, please make something look better. Glow percent. Alright, intensity. Oh. oh, maybe it's not glow that I want. Okay, so let's see, color. Now this glow, we're going to try and make it look as if the lava is kind of coming off the walls a little bit. So if we... Okay, okay. Not too bad. Let's move this to one. Oh, oops. <laughs> that's not good. Okay, and let's move this all the way. That's not good either. Bring this down. It's really over here, only on that side. I want it on the other side. How are we gonna do that? Okay, there's a spot in the middle where it doesn't look too bad. See, that does not look good, you see. That's not very bad. Okay, maybe if we bring this, tone this down. Okay, what happens if it's yellow, if it's red, what's that look like? Okay, no, let's see, blue, that's kind of, this kind of, okay, how about a dark, this dark, and if we change the intensity up, oh yeah, I'm not liking this, we're going to get rid of that. Oh, maybe it's because there were two, actually. That might be why it looked sort of weird. So let's change this again. Let's go up to glow. Change this to one. Okay, let's change this to full. Let's change this to actually 0, 0 0.1. Okay, let's say 0.5. Okay, too much, 0.2. Is that good? Um, okay, so let's... See, there's a lot of tweaking with everything, but in the end it should pay off. Let's get rid of that and see. Was that better or worse? I liked it with it, I think. Now, go again, add. Okay, let's go to the orange glow that we had. Um, let's go this to 0.5. Sorry, that's 0.5. Nope. Zero, 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 point five. Oh, it was actually like 2, wasn't it? 3. Alright, let's can't see any difference. Ooh, okay. It's after adding two again, actually. Here we go. I don't know why I did that. Okay. So. Let's get all these and just test the. Oh. So let's go point one again. Was it 0.5 here? What's that? What happens if we go 0.9? Sorry guys, I've just gotta gotta test all this because nothing's changing. Okay, 0 0.4, 0 0.2. Okay, that's good. And then there's one more thing I want is glint. Now I don't know where I'm gonna find it. Okay, found it. And I think this might lighten things up what we want to bring it down to we want to bring it to an orangey color sort of like that we bring it to <laughs> want to bring it very low down we don't want a big boost either that's kind of good 
Okay, horizontal radius can be whatever, vertical radius can be a little bit lower, we don't want to see it outside the that we're selecting color, which looks better than that, or I think that looks better. Alright, hue sweep. So we can get a better orange kind of color using this. Okay, saturation. That's good. Oh, that's cool. Okay, let's say. I think I saw one kind of bit of light back there. Where did it start? I don't know where it started now, that's so the problem. I don't want to be able to see too many rays, you see. And streaks. Okay, we don't want too many. I think that's good. Don't know what they do. Well, I guess kind of rid of them. And that gets rid of effect only. I like the effect. Okay, there we go. Um, just check if there's anything else. So many rays. Just see what this does. It gives kind of like a. Uh, let's just change the color of those. Okay, all's good. Let's play this. I like that. See? It just made the whole thing look a good bit better. Now I'm going to render this, which means this is what I do before all my videos, by the way, guys. I have to render them. Um, let's just make sure it's just that bit. File, render as. Um, and it condenses it. Um, we don't need to condense. Alright, yeah, so, uh, sorry, I had to pause for there a second, but, um, that render is done, so we can exit out of that, and then in our animation folder, sorry, I just gotta, I'm using that for sound effects now, you see, but yeah, if we go into our animations folder, we can watch our animation here, without lag or anything, and pam, so, that, you can barely see the wing anymore with the light rays too, which is good. And uh, now I'm going to be opening up Camtasia. Um, you can do sound effects in any video editing program, pretty much. I just like Camtasia because it's so simple to use. Uh, you know, let's just save this one more time. We can exit the animation of Blender. And now, I'm going to be going through YouTube looking for chicken burning noises. I might have to take some myself from Minecraft. Um, only looking for some lava noises and um, etc. So let's skip forward a little this. See, he has music, we can't hear the chickens burning. So, chicken burning Minecraft. Um, and I accidentally looked up chickens burning without typing in Minecraft a minute ago, and that was not a nice search. Okay, I will find these without recording because it could take some time okay guys well I came across this video by Seth Bling very nice video and look at listen to this it's called Minecraft every sound effect <laughs> he just has all the sound effects you could want so I will download that Um, a lot of them are the old sound effects but still It'll be okay. We're not in search for great animation. Still wondering if I should upload the animation to my channel afterwards because it's not like it has any purpose whatsoever <laughs> and it's pretty bad too. But anyway, also please, if you made an animation following my tutorial, upload it and put a video um, response to the tutorial because that would be really awesome for me and I want to see what you guys made. Um, to see just how bad I am. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, obviously he is pretty much everything. Now I'm going to go to a thing called livetoe.com and we just copy and paste the Earl of Seth Bling's video into this box here, convert to mp3, and it will give us the mp3. So that's that. I am. Um, I'll then import the sounds, work everything out, and I'll be back very, very soon. Okay, guys, so I'm in. 
Camtasia Studio and I just took out the walking on stone effects from Seth Bling's all Minecraft sound effects video and if you listen here um, I still have to sync them a little bit better but they're basically in alright so they're gonna be synced better uh, and I might like kinda bring down the sound like the uh, the volume of them and put in some other like quiet music or something like that and um, maybe even a voice the chicken could be talking um, un unfortunately the rig they're called rigs by the way if you have a chicken or a pig or a cow that can move its things like the wings and all that's called a rig unfortunately you can't move the chicken's mouth um, I think you can move this little thing the little what are they the chicken has underneath that thing there you can I think you can move that but anyway so yeah I'm gonna work on those and I'm just going into Minecraft here because um, we have to record the chicken burning sound effect so if we uh, you know we can get the real sound here because we have our lava pit so let's just get it spawn chicken egg um, let's turn up our Minecraft volume to full I have fraps here ready to record let's record the window sound and page up as the record button so fraps is no it's not recording why isn't it recording page up page up okay page up is to record why aren't you recording fraps okay it looks like we're gonna have to start fraps again don't know maybe for some reason I can't record with both programs never heard of that before though okay there it's recording okay they die fast Okay, sounds like we have enough. Let's just get one of the... Oh, yeah, lava sand. Okay, that's good. And that's just poured over our head. The full sand. And flint and steel. Just to get the last sand effect. Okay, there we go. I think we got enough sand. And I'll just bring them into the program. Okay, so the way this is going to work is I'm going to take out um, the um I'm not going to I'm not going to be able to take out sand. Well, I probably could, but it I like I never done it before, so I'm so not learning that now. Don't want to learn anything new. That would be bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split that Take out the first clip and take out that bit, and then we're going to insert that clip underneath the original video. So, to do that, we're going to have to move these up, try to keep them where they were, although they're still not fixed anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. Move this up, and then we're going to put this underneath here, and we just want it where, the, where he fell in. So, I'm thinking here. Let's just listen. Okay, let's let's look at that again. Let's get that a little bit earlier. All right, that's not bad. And now let's get some lava sands in there. So, oh crap. So yeah, the program stopped responding. Not good. Um. It usually says where you are, that's a good thing about Camtasia once you open it again, so I'll try that now. Okay guys, the program's opening again. I just want to show you, I just got this comment. Uh, what the fuck, he has four eyes. Uh, remember I was telling you earlier, that's the animation I did for the cover of it. And he's looking at the title screen in it. And this guy has noticed he has four eyes, and he's all like, why? Um, and there's a bit of spam we got. Okay guys, looks like it was done, so we're going to watch it now. It's just finished rendering. Um, I put in the sound effects pretty close to where they should be. And everything should just appear in this folder once it's done. There we go. That is it. Um, I'm out of this. Okay.